Welcome to the channel. I am Network Gremlin and this is a introduction to Space Station 14. I am starting this series because I see that there's not a lot of information out there on the World Wide Web and I was extremely confused when I was starting Space Station 14 but I've come to appreciate and love this game and uh, I think that it would be beneficial to new players to understand what is going on. Now this will be more catered towards Delta V, so this is not entirely applicable to upstream or more base game servers, so this is a modded uh, downstream server. If you want to explore the more mainstream and unmodded servers go to wizards den lizard us west or wherever that is currently the most popular and i think one of the i would say almost official space station 14 servers i could be wrong about that but um if any of this information is wrong or outdated i'll make a new update video but without further ado let's get to it real quick so you're going to start up and you're going to connect to, for this instance, Delta V. It is a medium roleplay, which means that it is uh, there are rules regarding roleplay that you must follow. And you it would be wise that you follow them so you don't ruin it for other people. Um, if you want to join a low roleplay, like I said, go to Wizards, Wizards Den. If you want to join a high roleplay, there isn't one as far as I know. But maybe in the future when there's more of a dedicated player base even though there is currently a very dedicated anyways but okay so you've connected to delta v and you are now here and now you're going what on earth is going on what must i do firstly here are your rules i really do suggest that you read them please don't make this difficult and don't get banned just just read the rules i know it's like i know it's a paragraph and a half but uh, just just you know and then there's also a tutorial over here that you should also read top left discord useful if you want to ask questions the website and the wiki very useful as well but i'll explain more in game you want to go to your character i just created a new character here this isn't my main um what you would want to do is create a new slot and with with this new slot you're gonna you're going to get a randomized character. Now you can edit this how you want. This, I'll explain this in further detail. But one of the main things you want to make sure of is that you have a good role-playing name, which makes sense. So I'm not going to be a uh, die owner because it's just, let's just, we'll stick with an unmutated human because it's just the easiest. I would also suggest that for yourself. And then just randomize. You can randomize everything and it'll give you a, just a randomization of everything. Um, I'll just go with... Yeah, sure. Why not this one? This is an Oni. Again, I'll just make this an unmutated person just for simplicity's sake. Um, when you go into jobs, I suggest that you don't change anything yet. You play as an assistant. As an assistant, you, uh, you are part of the grey tide. So it's kind of... There's a stereotype regarding assistance, knowing that, you know, everyone who's new plays assistance. Don't worry about that. Don't listen to people. Uh, you are here to learn and you are here to not irritate people. So don't go around and just making the other jobs hell. Okay, please, I'm begging you, please don't. <laughs> okay, you're going to make life difficult for everybody. Okay, regardless, there are... Let me just explain that there are jobs within the station. As you get to know the station, you can take on more jobs. I've got most of them unlocked because I've spent time in this game, except for a few of them. Um, but Quartermaster, this is kind of relevant for the new player, but it's kind of a pseudo job. So I wouldn't choose Quartermaster as your first job that you want to take. Just become an assistant. Then maybe you can try being a janitor or something don't be a lawyer because then you have to understand space law yes there is law in space and it in mrp it, you must abide by the space law in any case the command jobs there's a head for every single department uh, if you want to join a department you need to go ask them for permission and their stamp of approval you have your mr gog which is your head of epistemics you have your head of security head of security your head of personnel that is who you go to when you actually change your ID when then 
it's abbreviated to hop so you go to your hop to change your id to a specific department you have your cmo which is your uh, chief medical officer obviously medical jobs engine chief engineering which is ce and then your captain which is i mean well that's quite self-explanatory so let's go okay so if you're joining in late you're going to be able to choose your job here um I wouldn't change your job preferences over here. Um, just keep this the same because it'll automatically put you as high as assistant. You can choose what job you want. Again, this is if you're joining late. Assistant, infinity open. Click that, please, if you're new. And then you are in the game. Welcome. So, these are the controls. And you can see the controls, you can access them and you can read how, you know, how everything works control wise. If you go to your escape and then your control menu, and then you'll see here exactly how everything goes. I mean, if you've played video games before and you'll know exactly how everything works. Um, one important features to take note of is, is if you're, you can accidentally have your camera rotate and it can be kind of confusing. Like, oh, where am I? Just press numpad 8 and you'll recenter your your camera but you know wasd move around right your main interact or your use button is um apologies for that lag on my side is your left click right and if you you can do this the long way by which is your like alternate use kind of thing by right clicking and then you'll see here let's go to the chair and let's buckle in so it's, just, it's, exa it's exactly the same thing. But going into further details, you can examine something and see what it's used for, or like more information about it. You sit in this either by will or force, it is anchored to the floor. You can begin constructing it, deconstructing it, and then once you click that, you can examine it again, and it'll tell you how to deconstruct it. Now, there are hotkeys that you can assign to each to instead of you know oh, i have to right click then i have to go to this i have to point you know what you can do is as i said go to your options go to your controls have a look through here i've changed some of mine so these aren't default but just go through some smart ones to remember or know at least are your drop item which is q your examine which is my mouse five but you know, so you can quick examine something. Um, <laughs> ignore that. Okay, sorry about that. There was a, an announcement that was just speaking over me. In any case, um, and again, you can throw things like the mouse. If you hold control and then Q, you can throw it, you know. You can just drop it with Q. Um, again, if you want to access like the UI of a vendor, if you want to use it, you just left click because it's used. Then let's just say I want to drink a space, a grape soda can, you know, whatever. Now, now this is something that extremely confused me in the beginning. If you want to use a grape soda can, press Z. Z uses the item in your hand. So if you're using a sort of a, a gas, um, like a there's a there's a there's a gas tool thing that you can use. Um, if you want to use it, you press Z. If you want to open the soda can you press z and that's what i just did now i can drink it if you don't open it then it's going to be you're going to be really confused when you when you thirst and you're trying to drink and it just goes you have to open it first and you're like what how do i open it no you just press z and you're good okay now i'll go into further depth on depth on like all the other different things just a quick rundown of how what the ui is okay top left Guidebook. This is very useful for everything. You have your space law here. You have your controls. You have your jobs. What they each kind of do. It's not. It's not fully completed, but it's it's pretty good. Survival and show ye. I've never read show ye. You want to check here if you're an antagonist. This is kind of irrelevant. Don't worry about this for now. But it's just important to know what it does. I is for your items, and I'll go through what these all individual things are. Um. I'll just have to ignore them. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Corinne. Um, construction. This is useful if you engineer. Um, here's an action. So here, this on your left is your action menu. Okay. So you can assign actions for the different things that you have 
on you. So if I've got a hard suit, which you'll find out at a later date when I do an engineering guide, if you uh, if you if you have a hard suit, you can turn it on with these buttons. Um, the important thing to remember is if you want to attack someone, you have to press one, and this is according to your keyboard. You have to press one, and then you'll you'll attack things. This is your um, this is your harm button, your combat mode. You can't pick up things in combat mode, so make sure everyone's done it. You turn off combat mode before you want to pick something up. Your scream is just well, it's a scream, and then if it gets really dark, you can turn on your PDA light. Your PDA light, I mean your PDA, holds your ID card, and your ID card tells you what you can, what doors you can open and can't open. Make sure that you always have a pen and an ID card in your PDA, okay? You can have a look in the PDA, and you can see more information about the station, what the station name is, the alert level, how long the shift's been going, all that kind of stuff, okay? Um, you can also take out the, you know, it, it like that, but you can also just eject. So just right click on it and you can do all these different things. Opening your UI is important to remember. So for instance here, I opened up my backpack UI. Here it's got a survival box in it. This will be useful if you need a uh, breathing mask and emergency oxygen. I'll quickly go through this now. Um, so I'm just taking these things out, I'm left clicking and I'm pressing Q to put them on the ground. So in your inventory, you've got your shoe slot, you've got your jumpsuit or your clothing slot. You have your gloves, which can, you know, go range from insulated gloves to just medical gloves. You've got your cape slot, You've got your breathing or mouth slot, so you'll put uh, your your breathing mask in there. You have your glasses, your headset. Now your headset allows you to read the different radio chats and radio links. You need encryption keys to access different uh, radio channels. Okay, and you'll ha if you spawn in in a department, you'll have that by default. If you change to a department, you need to ask your de department head for an encryption key or an encryption or a, a a headset for that department okay so that's your that's your headset make sure you always have that on this is your your hat slot and then this is like your backpack for your suit but this is mainly used for um this is mainly used for oxygen whether you when you got a hard suit on um now your pda goes in this slot this is a belt slot. You can get a um, you can get a tool belt, which is useful if you're um, engineering or medical. You have a backpack slot. You have your left and your right hand. So your left and your right hand, you alternate with X. Excuse me. You alternate with X, so you change from your left or to your right hand. Then you've got your your armor slot. So this can change from right gear to a hard suit. You have to equip this before you can equip your oxygen and then you've got your pocket slots, right? So just take note that if you take off something clothing wise, you'll be naked, but also your your um, you won't be able to put in your PDA because your PDA relies on a clothing item. So when you take off your clothing, your PDA will drop. Be careful for that, okay? You don't want to just leave it behind. Then two last things you've got health it'll there's no way to tell your exact health unless you're a medic and you've got a, a health analyzer green is good red is bad you'll see when your health goes down they'll be pulsing around there and etc etc your stamina if you're hitting things and this is your internals so internals is reliant on a breathing mask and oxygen or nitrogen depending on your race don't worry about that right now. you'll probably be oxygen now, currently my mask is down. I can't use my internals. Now, if I had a hard suit on, um, I would be able to toggle my mask and my emergency oxy oxygen tank would be on my back and I'd be able to toggle on um, oxygen or internals. So internals, internals are important if you're going out to space. 
um if you don't have internals on you'll start gasping and then that could potentially kill you if you look here at your top right of your screen this is your chat everything you say will go into this chat okay it's important to watch it you can filter it with this but then i'm going to go through the different radio channels or such such local local area around you right whisper small area so just in your surrounding area emotes this is kind of you want to tell if you want to just role play you want to say hey i wave at you you know radio this is what you're seeing the green text this is the common radio that you can use with a radio set so you can say hi or whatever whatever now within the radio you get different commands for different uh departments right so you have your engineering you have your security you have your command you have your medical and you have your epistemics i think on the main server you also get supply which is you um this you can only message on these chats if you've got the correct pda so now if you see if i try and speak on security and i say hi security it's not gonna it's not gonna go through i'm just gonna whisper it because i don't have the encryption key now when you do speak on your radio you will whisper it okay so just be aware of that that you you don't realize oh it's just going to my radio no people can hear you if they're close enough so just remember that other than that there's not too much that other uh, that needs to go on i'll go through different objects such as epipens flares sustenance all of that can go it'll be expanded on in the future and stuff i'll make department guides for um okay the name is nyanostracin now it has been that's the name of the wikipedia that's what it used to be named it got renamed to oh security this is someone who's done something wrong yeah it was an assistant obviously <laughs> um yeah good old security um you're a nuisance bud regardless um so there was a i think a rebranding and a whole split and a whole thing it doesn't really matter too much um important to realize that you're gonna have you're gonna be lost most of the time on these maps okay you have to just learn the map this is a nice map to know but just look out for the signs here dorms are where i'll this will lead to it every different department i'll go through the different departments later but just look out for the signs okay um other than that i don't think there's anything else that needs mentioning i will try and get out more guides regarding um delta v more specifically because i don't play on um the main upstream servers but if you need more main upstream servers i'm going to put uh, the link to a youtube channel in my description that you can check out in any case i will hopefully see you guys in the next video when i go into more depth regarding the departments etc but uh, have a good day and uh, hopefully i'll see you in the lobby